Franta here with Sloan Allison. We're here to uh, talk story a little bit about uh, what we're seeing in the real estate market here in Maui. Just kind of give you an update of what's going on. So Sloan, how are things been going for you? What are we seeing out there? We are definitely seeing um, things slow down a little bit. Um, you know, buyer pool has shrunk a little bit, I've, I've seen. Okay. Um, but still opportunities out there for both buyers and sellers to, to um, take advantage. Right. I would have to agree. I think, um, you know, it's interesting. We're seeing clients coming up from the mainland right now. Um, just showed some clients around a couple of days ago. And, you know, in their markets, they're seeing dramatic differences from what we're seeing here. You know, your LA's, your San Francisco's, um, you know, your major metro markets are, um, you know, they're seeing a pretty dramatic decline in activity. To be honest, on Maui, we're not quite there yet. Um, in our inventory right now, I think um, if we're looking at just the past few months, we're maybe up a couple percentage points, but it's remaining yeah. fairly tight, right? Well, other markets seem to have more inventory available yeah. compared to, to Maui. Yeah. I mean, we just haven't seen, you know, that spike in listings yet. Um, it seems like most of the potential sellers here in our market are, are kind of holding. Yeah. Um, we, we have had some clients, or at least I, I have, that are, are kind of looking for deals right now. Right. And it seems like some of those lowball offers, you know, aren't really getting looked at by sellers yet. You know, what would you say? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I do think there's less competition, and so that would make buyers feel more inclined to to be able to go in a little bit lower. But for for whatever reason, sellers aren't quite to the point where they're um, willing to. Um, yeah, I mean, you down. guys, you guys saw that. I know you've you've got the listing in, uh, or one of your listings yeah. that you guys recently received, kind of a low ball and. and and how did that go? Yeah. Talk a little and, bit about that. And so we, we had already just, just kind of decreased the price quite a bit, hoping to, you know, capture. We had quite a few buyers come around kicking tires a little bit. And so we, we lowered the price to try and capture um, someone at that lower price point. And we still even received um, an offer, you know, 30% below what we reduced to. Yeah. So, you know. A little, little unrealistic in today's world, I think. Yeah. And you know our, our sellers were we were, we tried to work with them but um, didn't quite come together. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it, it's I think that's kind of a good anecdote of what what we're seeing right now. We've got you know kind of the the two sides of the playing field, right? We've got sellers that are kind of holding their ground right now, um, at least in our market. Again, this is Maui specific, and even more specifically, kind of the resort you know second home markets of Maui. Um, you know, sellers are holding their ground. We're not seeing a, a dramatic rise in inventory. Um, yes, fewer buyers in the market um, shopping, um, but the ones that are shopping, you know, I, I think they're finding what I would say are maybe a little more balanced deals or fair deals. Yeah, I think the, the you know the they're not kind of shit they're not getting out. fire sales or they're not you know getting these dramatic you know reduced price deals, but. But they are, you know, I'd say highly less competitive than, you know, even a few months ago. Um, so that's good. I mean, if, you know, for those of you that have been looking and have been battling through the past two years since COVID, when things have been extremely competitive, now that's opened up a bit. A little more opportunity. Um, let's touch on financing a little bit. I mean, that's kind of the uh, buzzword uh, around these interest, days. You know? Interest rates. Interest yeah. Rates. Yeah. So what do you, what do you see in there? What are we... um, they are a, a good bit above what they were, you know, six, 12, 18 months ago. Um, but historically, you know, they're still not above where they were, say, in 2015, 2016. We're kind of around that time frame in terms of, you know, historical data. And um, I do think that's why there's less competition in the market. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's, that's kind of... Yeah, what my feedback has been from from my clients specifically, um, you know, they're just kind of waiting to see what the interest rates are going to do. Right, right, and I mean, yeah, it, it is a hard pill to swallow um, for those of you that were shopping six months ago. Um, you know, rates have basically doubled and plus some, um, so that that obviously is a dramatic change to your overall monthly payment on that mortgage. Um, so that is a, a difficult one to swallow for a lot of people, but yeah, you're right. Historically, we're still in the ballpark. I mean, 
Um, you know, one of the lenders we work with a lot just sent out the updated rates, you know, and a conforming 30 year now you're looking at upper sixes, yeah. right? About like six, seven, five ish is kind of your ballpark. Um, you know, and I think with that reduced competition in the market, buyers can offset some of that rate difference in getting a little bit I think so, better yes. price yeah. on the purchase. Um, you know, so definitely a lot of dynamics at play. Um, Sloan, what do you think, you know, kind of moving forward through the last couple months of the year here, what, uh, what do you expect to come, you know, to the end of the year? And then maybe how do you think we're going to start 2023? Well, I, I'm hopeful, you know, um, I think that there are, you know, some high level market predictors think the rates are going to come down at some point. Um, not sure if, if that would be, you know, I, I wouldn't put all my eggs in that basket for sure, but, <laughs> right, um, right. you know, I do think there could be some softening with, um, with pricing. I think that that's yeah. only, you know, with supply and demand, right. As that supply continues to creep up and, I think it should as we kind of go into winter and spring here. Yeah. Um, sellers will get more realistic and that'll give buyers, right. you know, a better opportunity to get into something that they love. Right, right. So, yeah, I, I, I would agree with those statements. Definitely. I think um, typically, you know, in our market, we'll see, you know, just a general increase in inventory towards the end of the fourth quarter and into that first quarter of the year as our peak season is kind of through the holiday period. Um, we'll see if that holds true this year, um, probably given the, you know, other market dynamics that should be the case. Um, we don't anticipate, you know, any, any spike in inventory here yet. Um, but there should be some more opportunities for people shopping. Um, I think for all you, you know, potential sellers, we've been talking with a lot of our clients lately, just more consultations. Hey, where's pricing at? What, what's going on in the market? When's a good time to to list if we do want to sell. I think um, it's becoming increasingly more important to be priced absolutely right. Um, there was a period for the past couple of years where, you know, every new sale was push, above push, push, the push. previous record. That That's no, no longer realistic. Um, so I think, you know, you just gotta be very conscious of, you know, set some targets on marketing period and when you know you want that property to move obviously to be um you know kind of to hold your leverage you want that to move within the first 30 days of listing and to do that right now you got to be priced accurately where the comps say you should be priced and that's what we're here for you know we can help you evaluate that and and, and really nail down that price um you know to get lookers and to get activity where uh where, where do you think, how would, how do you advise your clients to, you know, kind of analyze pricing and, you know, suggest the, the right and best price? Where, where are you looking at in, in terms of data? Right? Um, so it's right now, you know, we really have to keep it a pretty short time horizon. I mean, a lot of times we'll go back 12 months, look at the data, um, 12 months, you know, from now uh, it was a whole different world. Um, right now we're really narrowing it down to six months. What's kind of happened in the last six months? Are there any, you know, real comparable properties that we can look at to, you know, really um, solidify our pricing? But yeah, I mean, you definitely got to factor that in. I mean, you know, as I mentioned before, we were talking with sellers and we, here's the comps and then it'd be like, okay, let's list 20% above that, yep. you know? Um, that's, that's no longer the world we're living in. Um, so yeah, I think really nailing down the data and, and talking with your broker about, um, you know, where we should be positioned in the market to get enough people to look at our property and, to, you know, think we're a, a good value, right. right. In today's market. Cause those are the properties that are still moving. The good ones we're definitely, possible. definitely seeing, um, some inventory out there that's sitting that, is a little optimistic on on what they're asking yeah so pricing more crucial than ever um but yeah no i, th I think we kind of you know covered a good gist of it um again you know if you guys ever have any questions we're always available for you and it was good good chatting with you today sloan yeah, you too real quick before we what are you going to be for halloween pat oh oh i'm going to be a um it's kind of an in inside joke with okay. our crew, but I'm going to okay. be a, a local fixture in the community, a character. Yeah. 
It's the. Um, you don't, if you don't want to, you don't have to give it away if you don't. Yeah, want you know, I, I might keep this one in the chest. We're gonna okay. include some photos in our next email blast to our clients. That you guys, good. you guys will see some good photos from it. How about you, Sloan? What, uh, what do we, got going? we got the family going as, as Space Jam. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna be Bugs Bunny. My wife Jordan's gonna be Lola Bunny. Nice. And uh, Ozzy's gonna be the Tasmanian Devil. So oh, that's that's pretty fitting. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, how old's Ozzy now? He's. Uh, He'll be two in December. Oh, look yeah. At that. We're, Old we, Tasmanian devil. He is, man. We got the, <laughs> the Villa Group kids are oh, yeah. going up, man. It's crazy. Yeah. No, absolutely. Well, yeah, looking forward to that. Wish you all, um, you know, hope you all get out and have fun with your, uh, with your families over the holiday weekend here. And happy Halloween. We'll talk to you soon.